Lightning and thunder! What are you doing? Why have you thrown a bucket of water at me? Uh, yes, well, uh, sir, the blonde gentleman sprinkled you with water and it, it seemed to work a bit. So I decided that more water would help you... Will turn me into a human herring? I'm going to snap you like a twig! Captain, I'm so glad you're well. You really worried us. What are you talking about, boy? Where are we? The last thing I remember was a sandstorm. Let's talk, Captain. There are a lot of things you need to know. We can't thank you enough, Lieutenant Morris. We owe you our lives. Thanks, gentlemen. There's no need. We simply did what was proper. Lieutenant, we need to send a message to the authorities. Can you allow us the use of your radio? I'm sorry, but our radio is broken. You can talk to the resident handyman, Markinson. At this time, he should be in the canteen. Many thanks, Lieutenant. Let's go, Captain. We have work to do. First, we need to find Snowy, and then find a way to repair that. I'll search for Snowy while the Captain is resting. Maybe the soldiers have seen him. Come here, kiddo. Not many animals around these parts, aside from the ones infesting the kitchen, that is. Cook says there's a ghost in the kitchen. The heat must be affecting him. The heat? Yeah, sure. I bet you that he has eaten all the food in the pantry. You! You have a brought a curse on us! Since you arrived, my kitchen has been haunted! If you help me get rid of the ghost, I'll help you find your dog. What do you say? Okay, I'll help you with that. The ghost is hidden inside. Level the entire building to the ground if you need, but please get rid of it! It was very fast. I couldn't catch it. I know who it is. Great. This will help me deal with the fire. Snowy! I knew you were the ghost. Come here, boy. I'm very sorry for what he did. Snowy didn't want to cause trouble, but we were so hungry in the desert. How can I repay you? Well, if you are so willing, I need some aromatic herbs that only grow outside the fort. You will need a camel to get to where they grow. I will open this door for you so you can get one.
<laughs> Sorry, lad. I'm not laughing at you. I've got some sand in me here, and that's the only way I've found to get it out. I must fetch some special herbs for the cook. Can I borrow a camel? Wow. That can only mean that a special soup is on its way. That's music to my ears. I'll give you a hand. First, I'll teach you how to ride that camel. Hop on, lad. Completed the practice, you're ready to go. This path leads to the oasis where the ingredients are. Remember, tap the screen to make the camel run. I will follow you closely. Watch out for the obstacles. I've had problems following you.
to melt like an ice cream. I hope you have all we need, boy. Finding these ingredients was not easy. So you and your dog, Rothro. So here they are! How oh, wonderful! I'm gonna make the best coconut soup in all history. From now on, your mutt is a welcome into my kitchen, lad. I feel like I've been lost in the desert for ages. Captain! How are you? At last, the three of us are together again. No matter the size of the desert, I know that mutt will always find the scent of food. <laughs> Hurrah for that white doggy, and for you, Tintin, and for everyone in this blessed dead or alive hole in the middle of nowhere. Now that we're safe, we must get in touch with the police. Saccharin must be stopped. I remember seeing a telegraph in the lieutenant's office, just like the one I had on the Karabujan. So, you want to use the telegraph? Good luck with that. It hasn't worked in years. It's true, the guy in charge of fixing is always sleeping in the barracks. And you will need a whole marching band to wake him up. Yes, sir. We will fight them on the beaches, and we will fight them in the city, sir. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm dead. I'm in heaven, and you're an angel. Sorry for awakening you, but I need to use the telegraph. Wow, that's no easy task. It will take a great deal of strength and cunning to repair that piece of junk. Let's do this. I will take a small nap to recharge myself, and then... No, no. I volunteer to fix it. Just tell me what I have to do. Okay, but on two conditions. First, you will go and tell the lieutenant that the idea is totally mine. And second, straighten up and start working now. If I catch you sleeping, I will kick your butt from here to Timbuktu. Lieutenant, I must find a way to his office and let him know that I'll fix the antennas.
The lieutenant's quarters are this way, sir. So, Markinson has convinced you to do his job for him and fix the telegraph. He's a good soldier, but he's as lazy as an old dog. I don't condone his behavior, but go right ahead and do it if you want. And thanks in advance if you succeed. First and foremost, we must activate two antennas. They are in the tallest towers of the fort. You can reach the first one from the camel area. I will tell my men to unroll the ladder. You have to climb high, so watch your steps, please. Our resident doctor is not qualified to patch broken skulls. Whenever you are close to a ladder, tap on it and it will unfold itself. Do it whenever you can. You must unfold the ladder if you want to go up and down. I'm 
something's missing. How can I climb? The architect of this place was nuts, so I need to unfold the two ladders, open the correct door, and then go down this side to finally go up on the other side? Orders are orders, sir. While the red flag flutters, I cannot let you out without a camel, sir. Mr. Tintin, sir, come down here and I will guide you to the second antenna. Down here, sir! Through here, you can reach the other antenna, sir.
Yikes! Yikes! Why does my towel always have to be full of mud? Have you noticed how good the boot cleaning rag smells? Great job. Now the telegraph finally works. How can we repay you? Simply allow me to use the telegraph? Granted. Just tap on it to use it. This piece of junk works again? Thanks a lot, Tintin. My men are preparing a caravan to Bagar. It will be ready in a dozen hours. They will take you to Bagar with them. This should be your response. How quick! No, this is not for me. It is a weather warning. A sandstorm is about to hit us. A sandstorm? I have six men out of the fort. You must help us again. Please, find them and guide them back home. I have to warn everybody. This is what we'll do. Climb up, take the binoculars, and start searching for the lost soldiers. When you find one of them, tell me where, and I'll send someone to the rescue. Okay, let's find those soldiers. One soldier to the north, just next to the path to the oasis. Perfect! Oh, to the northeast. This one is being attacked by vultures. Let's send someone there fast. was 
hidden behind a rock to the southeast. You are good at this, sir. Southwest. Good. Keep searching. Soldier, you heard the man. Send someone fast. Send someone there. And this was the last one. Excellent, Mr. Tintin. Tin. The soldiers are on their way. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm glad I could help. The lieutenant will want to talk to you, I'm sure. Are you ready, Snowy? Don't forget us! Hit that saccharine guy in the face for me, will ya? We have to move on to Bagar, Captain. I will miss this fort. They have treated us very well. Let's go now! We have to settle the score with saccharine! We have to move on to Bagar, Captain. I will miss this fort. They have treated us very well. Let's go now. We have to settle the score with Sacrin. I've uh, prepared a special meal for your trip to the city. It's already in your backpack. It's been a pleasure working with you. Goodbye, my friends. Thanks in the name of all the fort. The caravan and supplies are outside the fort. We have opened all the doors for you if you want to do something more here. It's us who owe you our thanks. You saved our lives. It was our duty, lad. Get your hands on this saccharine fellow and give him a good thrashing for Don't us. Don't worry, he won't escape us. Many thanks. We cannot possibly repay you and your men for all your help. It was our duty, boy. Just stop this saccharine and give him a good thrashing for us. Don't worry. He'll do the stopping, and I'll do the beating. 